Hey guys, this is Burr with Inside Outline and welcome back to another Cricut video. In today's video, I will be showing you how I use this Dollar Tree adhesive vinyl to create these projects. This video is a tutorial of the Dollar Tree Cricut vinyl and also showing you some of the Dollar Tree Cricut tools that you can use. So let's jump right in. So first what I want to do is to make my designs. So I'll be creating a monogram that goes on my mug. And then I'll also be creating a butterfly to go on a gift box. So first what I'll do is to go over to images and search for butterfly. And I'm going to click on the free filter so I can only see the free butterflies. And this is the butterfly that I want to use. I'm going to click on the information so that you can see the Cricut access number. So I will click on this butterfly and then click add to canvas. And so for this butterfly, I want it to be three inches wide and that is all. So next what I want to do is to add my monogram. So I will click the text tool and type my, well, before I type my initials, what I'll do is to go to the font, click on system, and then I'm going to type in monogram. And I'm going to use the monogramos font and this font is from defont.com. So I will click on that one and I'm going to double click on that text and type R and B. And right now I don't like those circles around the R and B, I just want the letters. So I have currently have my caps on, my caps lock. So I'm going to turn off my caps lock and then type the letters. And that is what it looks like. So what I'll do next is to ungroup. And the reason why I only type two letters is because my initials are R, B, R. So I will be keeping the R on the left and the right and deleting the one in the middle and replacing it with the B. So I will click the ungroup button and then I am going to add a shape. So I'll click shapes, add a rectangle or a square, ungroup it, ungroup the size of it, change it to a skinny rectangle so that it can cover up that R in the middle. And then I'm going to make a duplicate to do the same thing to my B. So I'm going to select the R and the rectangle and then click slice. So now I'm going to delete out all of those pieces and then I'm going to slice the B and delete out the pieces I don't need. I'm going to keep this B, put it in the middle and I can get rid of all those other pieces. So now what I'm going to do is to weld this design together. And I'm going to add a shape. So I'll click shapes, add a circle. I want the circle to be about 2.75 inches wide. Then I'm going to place my design. I will right click on the square or the circle and then click send to back. Make it bigger so that you can see my monogram better. And I want it to be aligned perfectly centered within that circle. So I'll click align and then click center. So it's centered vertically and horizontally. Now I will click the slice tool. And this is the part that I want to keep. So I will select these pieces and delete them. So that was very simple. What I'll do now is, is to click the make it button. For this design, I will be using that floral um, adhesive vinyl that I got from Dollar Tree. And then for this design right here, I will be using the teal adhesive vinyl that I got from Dollar Tree. So I will click the continue button. My Cricut machine is going to connect to my computer. And before I start cutting out everything, I am going to show you all the materials that I'll be using in this video. All of these materials are from Dollar Tree. You can find them in the crafter square section of Dollar Tree. And that's where they have all of their crafting supplies. Um, these are some very inexpensive and great Cricut supplies, especially if you're trying to create on a budget. So before I show you the supplies, what I want to do is to change the material setting for this vinyl. Um, and I want to create a, a custom material setting for my Dollar Tree vinyl. So what I'll do is to click browse all materials. And then I'm going to click material settings and scroll all the way down to the very bottom and I'm going to add a new material. So I will name this new material Dollar Tree Vinyl and then click Save. And the setting or the depth that I want it to be is 70 and that is the lowest that you can go. 
Um, if you've watched any other uh, YouTubers talk about, you know, cutting Dollar Tree vinyl, this setting seems to work very well. If this setting does not work for you, just try playing around with um with your Cricut blade. It may be a little bit dull or it may be um too sharp. So just play around with it until you get uh, your Cricut machine to cut your Dollar Tree vinyl the way that you want. So I'll click the save button now and then go all the way down to the bottom and click done. So now when I click browse all materials, I'll search for a dollar and you can see that Dollar Tree vinyl right here. I'm just going to go ahead and favorite it so that it will show up on my screen and you can see it right here. So I will click on that. And I'm going to click Remember Material Settings because both of my mats will be cutting that Dollar Tree vinyl. So what I'll do now is to hop over and show you all of these Cricut or all of these um, materials that I got from Dollar Tree that can be used with your Cricut machine. So these are all the materials that I got from Dollar Tree. As you can see here, I do have a mini cutting mat and this is what it looks like. And it's pretty small. It is an eight by eight mat. And then I also have this vinyl, adhesive vinyl, and it is permanent. And this is a floral vinyl. And it is matte, as you can see right here. I also have a, another vinyl that is like a teal blue. And this one is glossy. And both of these vinyls are 12 inches by 48 inches which is about the same size that the Cricut vinyl comes in. I also have this spatula, a weeding tool which they call a picker and then I also have a scraper. So what I'm going to do first is to open up these supplies. So what I'll do now is to compare these supplies to the Cricut brand supplies. So starting with the spatula first, this over here is the Cricut spatula and then you have the Dollar Tree spatula. Uh, the Dollar Tree spatula is a little bit taller or longer. It does have some little indentions on the side where you can put your fingers. Um, so for this project that I'll be doing, I'll be using these Dollar Tree supplies. Next, I'll be comparing the weeder. So this is the Cricut weeder and this is the Dollar Tree weeder. And you can see how they compare in size. They're about the same size. I do like that there are holes at the bottom. So if you hang your uh, tools on your pegboard, you can also hang your uh, Dollar Tree tools as well. And then the scraper. The scrapers are about the same size. And again, they do have the hole at the top so that you can hang your scraper tool as well. So what I'll do now is to open up my vinyl. So this is that floral vinyl. And like I said, this vinyl is 12 inches by 48 inches. As you can see, that's a good amount of vinyl on a roll. This one is matte, but I love how this vinyl looks. And I'm going to be putting this vinyl on this tumbler. I'm gonna cut out my monogram and put it on there. I'll open up this vinyl next. So this is what the other vinyl looks like, and this is the glossy vinyl. As you can see, there is a good amount that comes in a roll, and again, at $1.25 each, you cannot beat that because with Cricut brand vinyl, you're gonna pay about $8 at the least for some vinyl. So what I'll do now is to get ready to cut out my design. So I'm gonna move out all of my Cricut stuff, move it out the way.
and I will first start with this floral vinyl and what I will do is to get my mat and I am using a paper studio mat that I get from Hobby Lobby gonna lay my vinyl down Use my scraper tool to press down firmly. And I don't need all of this vinyl, but I'll cut it once it is done cutting out the design. Okay, so now I'm going to load this into my Cricut machine and cut out the design. So my design has been cut I'm going to peel off the vinyl. So as you can see on the left side, on the left side of my design, it cut through, the Cricut cut through the design. And again, the settings that I used for my machine were um, 70, uh, the pressure was 70 and um, I created a Dollar Tree vinyl material setting. So I may have to adjust that some so that it, the machine does not cut all the way through my uh, vinyl. But I'm going to see if I can still use this design for what I want to do with it. So I'm just going to cut this out. And I'm going to set it to the side and cut out my next design and then I will apply everything. So taking my other vinyl, I'm going to put it down on the mat. And I will say that this vinyl is a little bit thinner than like Cricut vinyl or some of the other adhesive vinyls that I have used before. So I'm gonna put this vinyl down. Use my scraper to press firmly. Okay, now we'll load this into my Cricut machine to cut out my design. Okay, so both designs have been cut into my vinyl. What I'll do now is to take my Cricut or my, this is my weeder from Dollar Tree. I'll take my weeder and weed out the design. Okay, so this is what that butterfly looks like That now that I have weeded it out. Next, I will move over to my monogram. And again, this one for this material, my Cricut kind of cut through on the left side but um, it's not a big deal, but I can probably play around with my settings on my Cricut machine to get it to where it doesn't cut all the way through. So I will weed out this design. So this is what that other design looks like and this one will go onto this tumbler. And I also have a gift box right here that you can use for a variety of different gifts. Um, you can also see I have some shred in there as well. So I'm going to take my transfer tape and the transfer tape that I'm using, I get it from Expressions Vinyl. And as you, you can see the little label inside of there, I love the Expression Vinyls or the Expressions Vinyl transfer tape because it comes on this roll and I literally use this transfer tape throughout the year. I can use this piece multiple times for different projects and I just lay it back on the roll. So if you're looking for some transfer tape, be sure to check out Expressions Final. The link will be down below in the description box. So starting with my, my butterfly, I'm going to put my transfer tape on top of there. 
take my scraper and press down firmly. I also drew the front side. And then peel off the transfer tape. I'll take my box now, lay it down, and place the butterfly where I want it on the box. Use my scraper tool to press down firmly. Okay, so this is what that looks like. Um, you, de you did see me struggling a little bit because my transfer tape was super sticky, but as you can see, this looks really good on this box. And again, this is Dollar Tree Vinyl and it costs a dollar and 25 cents. So this looks really good. I would probably put a bow or some ribbon on top of the bow or on top of the box just to give it a um, more complete look. So now I will move over to my tumbler. I got this tumbler from Michaels. Before I apply the vinyl, what I'll do is to take some alcohol and clean off the tumbler. I'm gonna let that alcohol dry for just a second. And while that's drying, I'm going to take my transfer tape and put it on top of my design. And this is what that looks like. So now I will place my design where I want it on my tumbler. Okay, so this is what that final tumbler looks like. I thought that the design would be a little bit more bold, but I did not take into consideration that the vinyl is already like a dark navy blue and that my tumbler is black. <clears throat> so what I think I'll do is to recreate this design and put it on a white mug so that you can get a better feel for it. This is the finished design on this mug. I think that this looks so much better than this design. And again, whenever you're playing around with different materials and colors, be sure that you know your colors complement each other. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on some Dollar Tree Cricut vinyl as well as some Dollar Tree Cricut supplies. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.